Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the workshop. We're going to make something else today. So today I am going to attempt to make an overtone flute. And if you've not heard of one of those, I hadn't heard of one of those up until recently. Apparently they're popular in like Eastern Europe. And what it is, is it's a type of flute. I guess you could call it a simple flute because it doesn't have any holes on it. But the way that you change the notes is with the pressure of your breath. So I guess you could also call it a very complex flute. But um, I found some tutorials online and it seems that they're very easy to make. So I'm gonna try it today. And all the ones that I found were made from people in Europe. So they were all in millimeters. So I did convert the things to inches. So here's what we're gonna need. First things first, we need a piece of PVC. Now I'm gonna get up close here so you can see exactly the type of PVC that I'm using. This is one inch and there's all the data about it because I know there are a lot of different types of PVC on the market, but one inch PVC and this is 20 and three quarters of an inch long. And again, I got that by converting the millimeters based on what I saw in the video. So 20 and three quarter long, one inch PVC. And this is, I believe the schedule 20 or I think it's called the CPVC again. I'm not the expert on that, but that's what I'm starting with. So we're also gonna need two little scraps to make the other parts of our flute. Now you could use a whole piece of PVC and dowel and stuff, but this is, I mean, this is more than what you need. You're only gonna need about three quarters of an inch. So this is the exact same PVC as what I'm gonna use for the flute body. And uh, just a little scrap, because again, you're only gonna need about three quarters of an inch. And then this is a seven eighths inch wood dowel. And again, you're just gonna, you can use a scrap because you're only gonna need about three quarters of an inch. Now the reason a seven eighths inch wood dowel and a one inch piece of PVC makes sense together is look, if you put them together, they're very tight. If you can see that they actually go together quite nicely. And that's what you're going to want because you're going to want this plug to be tight inside of the end. So first things first, we need to make our other two parts. So we're going to trim off three quarters of an inch here and three quarters of an inch here. Let's do it. Okay, so there is our ring and our block and you can see here they're about the same size, maybe a little bit, this block might be just a hair longer, but they're pretty close to the same size. So that's what we're gonna use along with the flute body that we already cut. Now the next step is we wanna remove about 3 sixteenths of this so that this is more like, it actually looks more like a ring and it has like a slot in it because we're gonna have to put this around the rest of the PVC. Okay, so now both our block and our ring are ready to go. So I'm gonna set those to the side and we're gonna take a look at the flute body here. So the next thing we wanna do is cut a channel and you can see I drew this line here. This is one and an eighth inch long and we wanna make a channel that goes about one and an eighth inch in to the flute from this end and is five sixteenths why? Okay, so this is where I had to do some of the millimeters to inches conversion, so I'll put that on the screen for you. But we want a small channel about five sixteenths of an inch wide and about an inch and an eighth into the flute, and we want it kind of a squared off channel. Now, what I'm gonna do to create this, and there's probably a lot of different ways to do this, I'm gonna drill a five sixteenths hole that's gonna end about one and an eighth into the flute. And then I'm gonna take my Dremel and come back and make those sides. And then I'm gonna see if I can use like a hobby knife like this one and sort of square off those corners so I can get a nice squared channel. So let's do that now. Okay, so hopefully you can see what I did here and I just kind of worked at it. By the way, I did not have a new blade in my hobby knife and so I ended up changing out the blade. It works a lot better with a fresh blade. Um, but I just kind of squared it off there. And so what we've got is a little channel that just goes right in to the body of the flute there. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to take this forward edge of the channel. We want to get it as thin as possible uh, so that it has a nice uh, way to split the air as it comes over there. And that's what's actually gonna give us our tone. So I'm gonna use a couple different files. I'm gonna try to just see how thin I can get that right there on the top and the bottom and just thin it out. And uh, then we should be about ready to put this thing together. Okay, getting close. So hopefully you can see there, I sort of thinned out the end. Uh, maybe if I put it this way, you can see, but just kind of thinned it out right here. 
so that we've got a nice thin edge. And the next step is we're going to take our block here and we're going to insert that into the end like this. There we go. And again, going from what I've read, you want to push it into where this is about a square like that. Um, even if it doesn't line up perfectly with this end, which in my case, mine doesn't. Then the last step is we take our ring and we put it around this to hold this PVC nice and tight against the block. Okay, so I just barely got it started there. It's actually kind of a chore to get that thing on there. But now that I got it started, I should be able to just slide it down. And you basically want to slide this down until it basically lines up with the end of the block. And then you want to turn it so it's basically centered about like that. So it should look something like this. And maybe you can just kind of see there is actually a hole there. Hopefully you can see the light going through it. And that's actually what you blow through. So it looks like, it looks like this is done. So if I did everything correct, uh, we should get a tone when I blow through it. Here goes nothing. Definitely getting a tone. Awesome. Okay, that's the beauty of these. You see, I just got three different notes but there's no finger holes. So if I blow really gently, I get a deep tone. If I blow a little harder, I start to get different notes as I blow harder. And that is the whole way that this flute works. No finger holes, but there are several different notes on it. Now that means you have to learn all of the different notes and that's probably gonna take a long time to learn, but uh, you know, should get me started. Now, another thing, a well-made one of these, and this is probably not a well-made one, but they said that you can plug the end and actually get a different note in between the two notes. So let's just try that real quick. There you go. That is the basics of how you make an overtone flute. So I'm just gonna try to play it real quick. I know this is probably gonna be pathetic because I've never ever tried to play one of these, but let's see what happens. I'm pretty terrible, but you can see the idea. And with a little practice, you can probably get a lot better at this. So there you go. It takes just a few minutes. Make yourself a PVC overtone flute. All you need is a piece of PVC and a few tools. Make it happen. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.